my time down a little bit. Uh, did pretty well in the drill work and one on one, seven on seven, did pretty well. Today, we have Virginia. Everybody's pretty tired. We all gave it our all yesterday, so let's see if we can do it again today. What's up, everybody? It's Jordan Graffery, number 23, Fountain High School. Uh, the experience so far is good, but I'm disappointed right now. Uh, uh, second to last camp, no, third to last camp. I haven't, don't have an offer yet. You know, I come out here at this camp so far, and I, I work hard, man. I work hard, and it feels like these coaches are overlooking me. I don't understand what I got to do to get an offer. Except for keep working, you know what I'm saying? But you get sick of it after a while, working hard and getting overlooked. Because you feel like you're the best there. And then when... When it comes down to it. Yesterday, I think I really had a good day. I started off at DB and probably got like two balls caught on me. That were just, the kids just ran great routes and there was nothing I could do about it. Uh, I ended up going to receiver the second session and uh, I had a lot of catches. Probably caught almost every ball and had like one drop. So I think today, everyone's feeling pretty sore and tired out from yesterday, but uh, today's just gonna be mental. Just gotta do it. And uh, hopefully it'll be good. Can't let the heat get to us. And, uh, for what was the stuff. high point of yesterday, man? Uh, during my one-on-ones, I put this kid in the trash can. That was my highlight. I mean, how big was the kid? He's a pretty big kid. I mean, got everyone looking at me. It was good. Good job. All right, so I just got done. Camp went really good. Warm. I uh, performed really good. Uh, out there working. I haven't really. Talk to coaches too much, but we'll see what happens. Got the next camp coming up. Uh, Notre Dame, I'm gonna take the day off. Don't start feeling a little tight in my leg and can't get hurt. If you're hurt, you're not reliable. They can't use you. So uh, just kind of heal up today and then uh, headed at Notre Dame. All right, well, last camp I did well. Uh, the coaches showed interest. I'm a little sore from the last few games, so I'm gonna try to uh, do my best today. I feel a little more confident because I'm, I'm learning every time, every every camp I go to. So I think I'm gonna do better in one on ones. I'm a little sore, but I'm gonna just push through. Yeah, that's it. What's your high point of yesterday? Um, my high point. Um, I think it was like the one on ones, a couple of one on ones. I um, I was a little more aggressive. They use that to my advantage in a, a, a couple of them, but uh, yeah, one on ones. Now, are you in shape for the season? Can you see where you need to work out harder in your cardio? Yeah, yeah, I do. Because um, they had you on the field in the one-on-ones for almost eight, nine times in a row. Yeah, I know. So, um, yeah, I got to, yeah, I got to get in shape. But, um, yeah, but overall, I think I'm, I'm fine. No, Perkins, dress myself. I play running back. Um, so far, I like the experience of these camps, but I talked to a college coach yesterday. Hopefully, I get an offer during these camps. That's what I'm here for. Um, I'm very frustrated about yesterday. Not my, I did, I was good at the camp, but I caught like five cramps, which is probably gonna hinder me today. And I'm not gonna be able to play my full ability. So, it's probably gonna make me mad. College coach is probably not gonna talk to me like that, but I see how it is. You know the guy who encouraged him, just in position. With the Maryland, dominant. Let's try the same thing here. Stay positive. Always put your hands on somebody. And the rest of you out here to call that. You got that cross cross for your face. I'm checking you take his hand. If you take his hand. You want to break down and get up out of here. Right the stars on three. Right on. Isaiah, where you at? Right here. Rise the stars on three. One, two, three. Rise the stars.
my guys spread out and go ahead so that we don't get lost or anything. Not a very far walk, but you just want to watch your step as you go over there because like I said, we are going through some construction right now. The next part of camp has the most beautiful places to live in the country. We got some of the best people around here to go ahead and help you guys. We got a great support staff, we got a great op uh, a great coaching staff, and we got the best head football coach in the country. I want to introduce you to you now. This is our head football coach at the University of Virginia, Mike Lund. Thank you for bringing uh, your son. As Steve said, you guys had a chance to go different places, and we appreciate the fact that you chose Virginia. Well, this is a great opportunity for you today, and that you've got several coaches from different uh, colleges and some, some of the high school coaches here that, that are here to see you. These college coaches that will be introducing themselves in, in, a, in a moment, make sure after camp or during camp that you walk up to them and put your name, put your face in front of them. Make sure that you introduce yourself to them. That they had your name. That we have your name, we have your testing, we have all those things like that, but make sure you put a name on the face. A couple of things. You know, like Steve said about the progress and things that are going on. February, next year, that's our other football field will be a, a indoor indoor facility. Alright? That's progress about what's going on with the program. Serious about academics. It's a great academic institution, but you should be involved with your own academic success. Same energy and passion you use on the field, you should apply it to the classroom. The same standards that your coaches have for you and your conduct, you should you should apply it also in the community. Make sure that you guys protect your personal brand. What is your personal brand? It's who? It's you. It's your name. It's your football family. It's your family. It's your community. Make sure you do things accordingly. We wouldn't embarrass any of those three. Get involved in your community. Make sure you do other things for other people because a lot of eyes are on you. Parents, make sure that you go talk to your guidance counselors and understand what this current house is, NC, uh, uh, AA eligibility, 2014. They're going to change the standards. They're going to raise the minimum GPA and also raise the, minimum, the SAT score. You need to know that because it's going to affect some of you guys. The only people, the only person looking out for your best interest is who? Is yourself. You need to make sure you have the grades. You take the SAT, the PSAT, the ACT. Don't just get a C. A C is average. Get better than a C. If you're having problems with, 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 a, with, a, with a test or a teacher, go see the, the, the teacher. It's about getting that GPA up, fellas. It's coming around. The college presidents are serious about making sure that the product that colleges produce are young men that come out educated. Now fortunately at Virginia we have we have great uh, uh, graduation rates, academic performance reports, and this is a great school, the number two public institution in the country, Cal Berkeley being one. But you also can win, you can win games here. So my challenge to you is to make sure you take care of yourself academically, put yourself in a position that it's never about whether you qualified or not. Take care of yourself, take care of your teammates. Be the first one there, the last one to leave. Be the model, be the example. Protect your personal brand. Watch out for the social network. What you guys Twitter, what you Facebook, what you put it out there, it's out there forever. Forever, what you say about an individual, how you treat women, what you talk about, what kind of pictures you post, it's out there forever. And that's one of the, what's one of the ways that the NCAA the NFL, prospective employees, look and see what type of person you are. You can say what you are, but what you do speaks so loud, I can't hear what you say. What you do speaks so loud, I can't hear what you say. So be the example. What comes out of your mouth, your conduct, it's okay to open the door, close the door, say thank you, say please, pull your pants up, comb your hair. It's okay to do that, fellas. That's cool. Be the model, be the example. Have a great day today, a lot of great coaches. I'll introduce the Virginia coaches on, on the break when we're down on the field. This is for you guys, the drills and the instructions that you get. Parents, take an active interest in your son, in the classroom and in the community. 
take an active interest in him because he'll be relying on you. I guarantee you that. Be educated about this NCA process, eligibility center, clearinghouse, SAT, ACT, all those things. The days of taking home ec, driver's ed, and all the other stuff are over. Academic courses, math, English, history, sciences, all those things. That's what's important now. That's on the horizon, and it's here. It's here now, all right? So take care of yourselves. I appreciate you guys coming. All right, we're going to have the coaches. Now listen to where they're